Hello, and welcome to your meditation practice as part of the Open Heart Project. My name is Susan Piver, and I am delighted to give you meditation instruction, as always. Today we're going to sit together for 10 minutes, and we're going to start now. So please take your seat and begin to get settled. You can sit on a cushion on the floor, and if you do, please sit with your legs crossed loosely in front of you, or it is completely fine to sit in a chair. And if you do, please sit with your feet flat on the floor. And as we get settled, I want to just very briefly um, talk about a quality that most of us really wish we had more of. And that quality is called patience. Of course, we all have things that we become impatient with, things about ourselves, things about people in our lives, things about our life, and so on. And the great Tibetan meditation master, Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche, who brought the Shambhala Buddhist teachings to the West, which is the lineage I practice in, said about patience, not, and I'm paraphrasing, not having any expectations, we can be infinitely patient. And of course, that is the secret to patience, is not to try to change what you are impatient with, yourself, others, your life, but instead to change your expecta the expectations that cause you to become impatient to begin with. That actually creates and rouses a feeling of great spaciousness and even power, I would say, because pa impatience makes us small and feels also that it makes us powerless. So as you go through this day, I invite you, as you encounter things that you feel impatient about, Again, whether it's yourself, people in your life, things that, about your life, instead of letting your attention go to those things and wishing they would change, drop that and bring your attention back to yourself. Examine your expectation and see if you can't loosen your grip on it or your cat's tail just a little bit. Um, and of course, our meditation practice helps tremendously with this because as we sit and watch our thoughts rise and fall in meditation practice, we are better able to do that same thing off the cushion. So without further ado, let's begin our practice <laughs> for today. So let's begin by letting go of any expectations for our practice. That it will be hard, that it will be easy, that it will make us happier, that it will, even that it will make us more patient. Let's just poop, let go of all that. And feel what it feels like to be you right now, seated on your cushion or chair, and let yourself be right here. and relax. The hands are palms down, just above the knee or at mid-thigh. And the hands and arms and shoulders can be very relaxed. The back is straight and strong and this allows the front body to be soft and open. So tune in to the softness of your belly, your chest and throat, and appreciate this quality of simultaneous strength and softness in your own body. The mouth is closed and the breath is natural. Just breathing, no technique for breath. And the eyes remain open, and the gaze is cast down to a spot about six feet in front, but not because you have to stare at that spot, just a sort of a resting point for your gaze. Let the eyes be very soft. And the crown of the head reaches up a little bit, while the sit bones continue to reach down.
So we have upward rising, downward rooting, great strength, great softness, all in our own bodies. Just notice that you're breathing. And feel the breath in the body. Notice the rise and fall of inhale and exhale. And you don't have to clamp your attention onto the breath because you're not trying to track it necessarily. You're trying to feel it. And even you can let go of the trying part and just feel it. There's a quality like of watching the waves of the ocean. It sort of absorbs you. Your mind will continue to make thoughts, some of which will be awesome, some of which will be crazy, some of which will be silly, some of which will be important, some of which will be unkind or boring and so on. All the same for purposes of meditation. If you notice that you're absorbed in thought, no problem. Just let go. And return to the felt sense of breath coming in and out of the body. And if there is any sense whatsoever of pushing yourself to do this well or get it right, please let that go too. Because as long as at any point you remember to bring, bring your attention to the breath, there's no way you can do it wrong. And of course, there's also no way you can do it right. So we're free. So we'll practice together.
Thank you very much for your practice. And I can't help but want to point out that it's, com it's possible to practice with whatever arises. F for whatever reason, in this sit, a giant wave of grief rose in me. My father died in 2012, and I miss him very much. And I, I love him very much. And you can't tell when these waves of feeling are going to come. And of course, they are what they are. But they're also an incredible opportunity to practice with kindness toward yourself and to feel what it feels like to be very, very sad or very, very angry or very, very confused, whatever it might be, with um, a kind of softness toward yourself. And if any of you are grieving, loss of a loved one, my heart goes out to you. <laughs> and I hope that your practice will give you great strength to meet it with a completely open heart. Thank you.